Welcome to the GE MDS video training series. In this video, I'll cover how to install the cellular SIM card, attach the antennas, and how to configure the cellular interface on the Orbit MCR device. Here are the proper steps to install the cellular SIM card and antennas. First, contact your cellular service provider and set up a data plan for your cell network. You'll have to negotiate whether this will be used on the public or private cellular network. When that's set up, obtain the mini SIM card that will be provisioned for your data plan. Then verify that power has been disconnected from the unit. Do not insert a SIM card into a live device. Also, do not remove a SIM card from a live device. Insert the SIM card into the slot labeled SIM A. The SIM only inserts one way, so do not force it. It should be inserted with the printed label facing up and the cutoff corner on the left side. This side is inserted first. A small instrument, such as a flathead screwdriver, may be helpful to gently push the SIM all the way in until it locks. You will hear a small click when it is secured. Then connect the antennas. The cellular modem inside the unit supports main and auxiliary antennas for receive diversity. When your antennas are attached, apply power to the unit and then you may begin configuring the cellular interface. Navigate to your web interface and log in as the administrator. On the left, click Interfaces, Cell, then Basic Config. An orbit equipped with a Verizon 4G LTE modem has the cellular interface enabled and a connection profile named VZW configured to connect with the Verizon's Internet Packet Data Network. However, an orbit MCR equipped with a 3G GSM modem has its cellular interface disabled. You will need to create a connection profile with the cellular network parameters prior to enabling the interface to allow the unit to connect to the network. The example I show here actually uses an AT&T 4G cellular interface. Because the unit comes pre-configured for Verizon, I'll need to modify some of the connection profile settings. Let's go through that now. Click on Cellular and the section will expand. Displayed is the connection profile called VZW. We can see it using the APN of VZW Internet. This may be okay for you because it all depends on the unit you ordered and the SIM card your data plan is set up to use. However, with my AT&T modem, I'll have to change it. I'm going to delete this whole connection profile and then create a new one. Click the row and then click Delete. Create a new connection profile by clicking on Add and give it a name and click Add. Most of these parameters can remain at the defaults. Refer to the manual for more information about each one. However, I will have to change the APN. The APN stands for Access Point Name and it's required to connect to the cellular network. Yours will most likely be different than mine. Click Finish when complete. Click on IPv4 and verify the system has the correct IP settings. A 4G unit should be set to DHCP. Also of note, if you modified your local bridge subnet to something other than the 192.168.1.0/24 subnet, you will need to update the local nets parameter in the firewall settings. Save the configuration when ready. The cell interface will now try to connect to the APN configured. To view the cell interface status, navigate to the Status tab. Then click Cellular and the section will expand. To configure the cellular interface on the console, log in as admin and enter configuration mode. Enter this command to display the cellular interface settings. Show interfaces, interface, cell. The profile does not fit your system, then enter this command to delete the connection profile. Delete interfaces, interface, cell, cell-config, connection-profile, and then the profile name. To create a new connection profile, enter this command. 
set interfaces interface cell cell dash config connection dash profile and then the profile name. You can then enter the APN after that by typing bearer dash config then APN and then put in your access point name. To verify the settings, issue the show command show interfaces interface cell. We can confirm that the APN is now configured. When satisfied, commit the configuration. After a few minutes, the cell should be connected to the network. Issue this command to bring up the cell status. To verify the connection, ping an external host. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.